Hey guys, I'm Hannah Chalker and welcome to the Southland Spotlight. The conference went 5-3 and three in week 2 of the college football season, including wins by Central Arkansas, Sam Houston State, Northwestern State, Lamar, and McNeese State. Week 3 brings another full slate of games for the Southland Conference teams, including four games against teams west of the conference's four-state footprint. Number two, Sam Houston State opens its season with a 54-7 win over future conference foe Incarnate Ward. Junior running back Timothy Flanders rushed 15 times for 120 yards, including two touchdown runs to lead the Bearcats to the victory. With the performance, Flanders became the all-time leading rusher for the Bearcats with 2,709 yards. The Southland's top-ranked team will now make the short trip to Waco, looking to pull the upset over the Big 12's Baylor Bears. A win would be the Southland's 19th over an FBS opponent since 2000. This game is set for 6 p.m. on Fox College Sports. Now we're going to be playing, uh, you know, obviously Baylor this upcoming weekend and get into Southland Conference play. And, and uh, we're going to have to bring our A game each and every week in order to, to come out with a victory. Number 19, McNeese State improved a 2-0 on the year with an impressive 69-7 win over McMurray last Saturday. The Cowboys' 69 points against the Warhawks were the second most in school history. The McNeese offense rushed for 282 yards, marking the fifth consecutive game dating back to last season the team ran for 200 or more yards a game. Senior Chris Regett did it on defense, coming up with two interceptions for touchdowns. It is intercepted. Chris Regett down the near sideline with a 25-20. Cuts it back 10. Five. Touchdown, Cowboys. The Cowboys will now visit Weber State this Saturday in a 6 p.m. kickoff. Number 20 Central Arkansas went on the road for the second consecutive week. They came away with a 42-20 victory over Murray State. UCA is now home for two consecutive games, including next week's anticipated conference opener against Sam Houston State on Southland TV. But this weekend, the Bears will host Bacone at 6 p.m. Uh, I mean, it's just a, it's a chance to be at home, chance to be, like, like Coach said, sleep in own beds. Everybody, it's, it's, it's a comfort playing at home and playing on the stripes. You know, we're undefeated here. We just want to keep that going. It's going to be, it's going to be a fun week. And number 23, Stephen F. Austin stumbled at SMU this past Saturday to snap a six-game win streak. Despite the loss, the Lumberjacks still maintain a six-game win streak against non-FBS teams. The Lumberjacks will look to get back on track this Saturday when they travel to number three Montana State to take on the Bobcats. It will be SFA's first trip to Bozeman since 2005. Montana State leads the all-time series 3-1. This game is set for 2.35 p.m. on Big Sky TV and KCEB in East Texas. Four other conference games are on the road. The lone Thursday night matchup sees Southeastern Louisiana playing at UT Martin. The rest of the games are slated for Saturday. Northwestern State will play Nevada on the road. Lamar is traveling to Hawaii. And after coming up just short at South Alabama last weekend, Nichols will get another shot at an FBS opponent. This time, the Colonels go to Tulsa. Big week for Southland football. Good luck, guys. In other conference news, the Stephen F. Austin volleyball team got a huge win over Indiana on Friday. The Lady Jacks beat the Hoosiers in five sets for the program's first ever win over a Big Ten school. SFA went on to sweep host Butler to close out a pair of wins to open up the Butler Classic. This week's Offensive Volleyball Player of the Week is Courtney Donald of Southeastern Louisiana. The senior played every set over the weekend while chipping in an ace with four block assists in the Tangy Tourism Lion Classic. The Defensive Volleyball Player of the Week is Keely Arneson of Northwestern State. The sophomore had 27 digs in a five-set victory over former conference rival Texas Arlington. The Oral Roberts women's soccer team came out on top against Oklahoma on Sunday. Sophomore forward Megan Giles rose to the occasion, scoring the lone goal as the Golden Eagles defeated the Sooners 1-0. The Golden Eagles moved to 3-3-1 three and three and one on the season and will continue their road swing just eight miles from home on Friday as they head across town to take on rival Tulsa. Kickoff is set for 7.30 p.m. With the performance, Oral Roberts took home two Player of the Week honors. The Defensive Soccer Player of the Week is Lauren Parks and the Goalkeeper of the Week, Helen Erb. 
And the Offensive Soccer Player of the Week is Kayla Vera of Southeastern Louisiana. For more information on the Southland Players of the Week, go to southland.org. Stay connected. All year we'll be covering the latest conference news right here on the Southland Digital Network. Get updates everywhere you go by downloading the Southland Conference app for iPhone, Android, and tablet. Also, Southland fans, all week three football games will be broadcast live. Check southland.org for a complete schedule. I'm Hannah Chalker, and thanks for joining me on the Southland Spotlight.